right there on top of the moon. We could sit and do nothing. I wish we were both to just fly away. I don't. Good morning, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to the channel, my name's Gemma, and I'm losing weight following a calorie control diet. Today it's the first of February. It is Tuesday. And it is the start of the 10,000 step challenge that I've set for myself to try and get me moving a little bit more. I haven't been doing the school walk since before Christmas, so I needed something to give me a push because I'm really, really getting a bit lazy. So I went to gym last night and yeah, I'm going to be doing 10,000 steps every day in February. So today is the first day. I'll also show you what I eat for around 1,400 calories. See you later. Bye. So I'm back in from the walk and I'm just doing breakfast. I need something substantial because it's going to be something light for dinner. Well, I like something easy like cereals or toast because it's first at month, so it's always crazy at work. So that's taken me up to 4,230 steps, so good start to the day. So hopefully I'll hit my 10,000. I'm very tired this morning. Um, but can do it so I will catch up with you in a bit. So this is breakfast for 236 calories. This is dinner for 296 calories. I've got 200 grams of milk and 50 grams of cornflakes. I'll be having four teaspoons of candorel. A snack for 103 calories. Have to excuse my junk room, my office, messy in the background. I'm um, just finishing work now so like I said earlier, I just got over 5,000, no, 4,000 4, steps was it? Um, the only, I've been sat for six hours. The only thing I've done is visit the toilet, go for the cereals, get some drinks. So I'm up to 5,355 steps. So I've still got a way to go. Kayla doesn't finish for another hour. Um, Alex is already home. So I am going to now, the dishwasher's finished, so I'm going to empty the dishwasher, tidy up. That should clock up a few steps and then I may take a coffee now. But we'll see. It seems very, very windy. So we'll see what time it is when I've got um, tidied up. Um, yeah, and I think we're having steak for tea. And I've worked out kind of calories approximately because I'll have to wait when it's cooked this cake uh, cake this steak because it's all um all different sizes um but yeah we're hopefully having that I'm working again for the rest of the week so I'm just trying to keep my steps up the best I can in the morning so hopefully there's not gonna be any rain so I can do a school walk in the morning to at least get me halfway I am gonna try and do another exercise class at some point this week. I'm thinking about just doing one in the house, um, maybe combat, but I will see how I feel because I'm not going to push it. Um, I'd rather wait. And I work, My plan was to do Mondays and Fridays, which is tone it up and club a size, but um, she's not doing it this Friday week, being a birthday and a nan's birthday. So... I might start doing that next week, but yeah, I do. I would like to try and fit another class in, but I'll do it in house. I used to do it in house all the time. You'll probably remember if you've watched me a while because I used to film bits of it. Um, and like my stomach had started getting muscly and oh, just, just felt so much better. But it's getting that motivation into it. It's a lot easier in summer when it's lighter nights and. Um, you're motivated because you know you've got to get them skimpy clothes on. Not that wear skimpy clothes, but less clothes. Get the arms out and a bit at legs. So I'm logged off now. I am on my second litre. I've had two cans of pop. I've eaten what I've shown you. Um, the plan was to have a five bar and bar, not a Kit Kat, but I've run out. Do need to do a shop. I'm thinking I might do Aldi tomorrow night. Could do it tonight, really, but if I can't be bothered, I'll see. 
So this is tea for 568 calories. We've got sirloin steak, um, some mushroom sauce, which I'll show you which one I've used later, some broccoli and some um, like herby potatoes. So this is the sauce that I used with the mushrooms and I've not obviously used it with pork, but we just thought it'd give it a bit of a flavour. And the last time I had this, it was quite um, peppery. So I thought it'd act as like a peppercorn sauce. It were really nice. Um, I obviously didn't use a single cream in it or the onion. I just used the milk. I've wrote six and a half on this. So I'm assuming that's um, sins on Slimming World, but I would check it yourself. But calories, it didn't work out too bad. So tea was scrummy. The calories were slightly wrong because I'd forgot stuff and not measured stuff. Well, not changed the measurement. So um, yeah, I put it up on screen, the correct one anyway, and it was delicious. I'm only on 8,807 steps, so, and it's gone seven o'clock, so I am going to be marching around the house tonight, because I am not walking in that wind outside, I'm not doing any exercise today, uh, other than that walk this morning, so I'm going to get my snack now, and then I'm going to put some YouTube on in my bedroom, and I'm going to march around the bedroom to try and get to 10,000 steps which obviously I'll not be failing. So I will show you what I'm having for my snack. So this is what I'm finishing my day with. I've not tried them before. Usually I'm not so keen on the Bliss Bars because they're a bit chewy for me. But I did want to try this Cherry Bakewell one. So I'll give it a try. I think it was 97 calories. I think it's something like that, but I'll pop it up on screen. I will pop details of um, the calories that I'm finishing on. And yes, I will let you know if I achieve the 10,000 step goal. So if you've um, if you've done it, let me know. I know some have tagged me in on Instagram. So thank you for that. And good luck to everyone for tomorrow. So catch up with you tomorrow. Bye. So pyjamas are on and I am marching around my bedroom. I've got the lovely Rebecca J on TV. She's just been saying that she's joining in the challenge. So I can't, I can't believe I'm making it this hard on day one. I wanted to go for a walk after work and I was just that shattered that I um, I couldn't be bothered. And then I opened door and wind and then I thought, oh, I'll go out. And then I went out onto drive and I've had this like um, edging around my roof, like black plastic stuff. And the wind has blown it all off. So... No, I'm, I'm exaggerating. It's not blown it all off. It's <laughs> it's blown two parts off, but they've got like long screws, but could have hit someone's car on, on street or could have hit someone. So I'm a bit a bit peeved off about it because we already had it done um, last year. So, yeah. So I'm trying to get my steps in. I'm getting near. I'm getting near. Um, I'm gonna, I think I'm going to run up and down stairs a few times and I'm going to sit down and get my vlog up and carry on watching the lovely youtubers and then i want to read some more of my book i've been enjoying reading before bed every night it's just just calms you down and just makes you feel better I shouldn't stand still should i'm wasting valuable time uh, <laughs> so steve it was first day on his job really really enjoyed it he's just been doing paperwork today like reading up on like the i don't know things about business and stuff like that like you do don't you we call it like regular reading and viewing and stuff at our work, but um, so yeah. And then he'll be getting all his kit to wear and stuff because he'll be visiting all different factories. He's going to be visiting all different places. Just found out there's the first visit's going to be York, somewhere near London, and Scotland. Can't remember where he said in Scotland. It's somewhere I'd never heard of before. Um, so yeah, it's going to be travelling all over, but it'd be good when I'm off work and I can I can go up and stay with him in hotels and stuff. So um, I think he's going to love it. It's just from working in one place for all those years and getting a bit bored of your job to to have this that's going to be different every week. I think it's just gonna it's just gonna be brilliant for him. I'm a bit jealous to be fair. I'd, I'd love to be travelling and staying in different hotel rooms and stuff, but. I don't think it's going to do anything for his diet. I think I'd find it difficult because they eat out every night. He gets a budget um, to eat out most nights. So, yeah. 
see how he gets on. But I can remember when I used to go Slimming World group, there were a guy that used to um, work away and he used to take his own kettle. And he used to do boiled eggs in kettle, like hard boiled eggs, and he'd have it with some bread and butter in the morning. So it's just finding things that, that work for your internet. So, but he's, he's quite good when he's on it anyway. Um, so yes, I will let you know when I reach 10,000. 1077 whoop so here's to tomorrow